Terry took a picture from right about this location. Um, see these uh, telephone poles of the house, this telephone pole here, there's a guide wire in and here, uh, and I, she didn't quite have the road in here, but anyway, uh, if we close out of street level view here, you can see where this is actually located, so you know it is a real place. There's where we are. We're right here on the corner south of Shovetville. Anyway, this is the real photo in open in Photoshop. That's the actual photo straight from the camera. I would really like it if this big ugly yellow bar was just not there. So I'm going to paint using the spot healing tool on this yellow thing. I let off the mouse and it just magically makes it disappear. This is real. This is a real photo. What it actually did is it used other pieces of the image around the spot that I told it I didn't want anymore and it re rewrote the image there and uh, it's really pretty cool. It, it's kind of like a computerized really fast version of a technique um, hopefully I didn't want to do that of a technique uh, that you used to do took a long time using a tool called the clone tool and you would have to tell it where you wanted to sample like here's the clone tool you would tell it okay I want to take stuff from I'll tell it from over here so we can see what we're doing I want to take something from there and fill it in here and you can see what it's doing there it's taking stuff and it's copying the image from over here over to here uh, fairly seamlessly that's still available that takes a lot of work and it, and it it's, it can uh, create some repetitive patterns uh, that's easy to, to spot <coughs> excuse um, me but we're gonna go back and keep on trucking here get rid of this I don't like to do too long a pieces because it's hard to keep the mouse going straight if you have to move the mouse too far. Now at the edge of the image sometimes it isn't quite perfect but that one is just amazing. Now we'll get rid of this. I don't know how far I'll be able to keep the mouse going straight on this. That's about as far as I can go. mess up there at the end. And we'll start here, go to there. And you'll notice around the cloud it used the cloud and kind of stitched the cloud right together. It's, it, it's really cool using it. It's like you feel like you're just scratching off bad stuff that got stuck to the image. That's what it feels like. It's like that that wire is a is a piece of something stuck to the top of the picture and you're using your fingernail to scratch it off. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oops. Did I do something wrong? My arm slid. Oh. So, now, if we come back out to full screen, we got rid of the ugly wires. And we now just have a pretty house, some trees, and we have this black thing over here that's still kind of ugly. Uh, let's get rid of Let's see what we can do with that. Let's get rid of that. Let's zoom in a little bit here. This is going to be tricky because it's going to be hard for me to tell what I've painted. Um, let's first just go down the edge. Around the edges. And then just kind of go.
go by memory here. What's been done? Like mowing the lawn. Just a good measure. Make sure we've got it all covered. Okay. Release the mouse. Computer does it some massive amounts of calculations and it just redrew a landscape where none existed before. Um, for some reason it made it darker. Um, probably, I'm not really sure why it did that, um, but I'm sure it had a good reason to. Um, but let's randomize this up a little bit. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's just tell it I don't like that spot. See what that does. Oh, much better. And there. Cool. And let's see what that'll do. Eh. I don't really like that. I'm going to undo that. Control Z and undo. Um, let's try this up here. See what that gives us. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Um, I guess that's okay. That kind of looks like some kind of pattern going on there. Uh, let's try this. I just don't want to get rid of that. And here you can see there's this is repetition here, here, and here coming from this original part of the image. Let's see if we can break that up. There we go. I kind of like it down here though. Excuse me. Yeah. Back a few. There we go. I'll stick with that. Uh, any rate, it's it's uh, much better than it was before. Now, if you don't mind me interjecting, you could come back with your dodge tool and lighten that a little bit if you wanted to. Okay. But now we've got a very believable image that went from this when we first started down to this now actually I think I wanted to back up a little bit there didn't I yeah there's where right I there. it um, but I don't like the house I want to get rid of the house now that's a challenge but believe it or not we can do it Ooh. Um, this would be a nightmare, and you wouldn't even attempt this with the old CS4 or earlier uh, photo versions of Photoshop, because, I mean, there's, there's pieces of the house behind this corn that goes down to the cornfield, um, and that stalk of corn is pretty integral. I mean, it's right in the... the house is in the center of the picture. Everything that happens in here is very important, including these stalks of corn, and they're different than any of the others, so we're, where we're going to clone from I, to, to reintegrate into the top of these corn stalks, I don't know. Um, so, it's, it's very difficult, but we'll see what we can do with the magic of content aware sampling get the whole house in frame here and got my brush going I'm just going to tell it all the things under this black area is stuff that has things I don't want it's what we're telling the algorithms behind this amazing thing Uh, the more you give it, I'm giving it information right now, important information. I'm, I'm giving it clues that it can use to do its job better. And it uses them, and it's an amazing amount of intelligence and stuff going on on the computer behind this tool. Um, I'm going to go across the top here. I'm going to leave that trunk in and see what that does. Right there. 
make sure we can't see the window behind there. Now I'm going to let up on the mouse and see what it does. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's it left the trunk in over here. Although that trunk looks out of place somehow. And of course this looks out of place. Um, I think we can go with that. I really like what it's done with the corn here. Uh, it did get rid of some of the stalks up here, but you know, they are kind of artificially chopped off and you don't have tassels on them. Um, clone tool might be able to bring some of that back in, but you notice it did do a really good job here because this used to be house with white behind it here and now we have corn stalks with trees behind them there, that's just amazing uh, let's uh, continue working, we gotta get rid of this and I'm gonna see if I can get it to help my tree out here a little bit, make it so I quite so you're looking so tree -y. I don't think I'm gonna be able to save that. I'm just gonna get rid of that whole thing. There. That's not too bad. There we go. And then and I, again I'm just clicking the mouse and painting black area and the computer's deciding what to throw in there. I'm not doing any massive things on the keyboard. The only thing I'm doing on the keyboard is zooming and moving zooming and panning the image around and then I use the mouse left click um, and moving the mouse to to run this paint tool and the computer does the rest it's just amazing actually let me run this again right through here and see what it does with just that That's not too bad. I bet if I used the clone tool and said, I specifically want this area right here. I want these tassels. And I'm going to have to change my brush size here a little. There we go. Perfect. Another thing about um, the uh, new Photoshop is that it gives you a preview of what is going to happen when you click the mouse on your clone tool. You can see it's got the image that I told it I wanted over there. What I got to do is I need some tassel action going on right in here. Now I'm going to resample. Tell it, okay, from now I want it from here now. Tassels. Now I'm going to tell it I want some of this stuff. Do, do, do. There we go. And I think that's probably good enough. What do you think? It looks pretty good to me. We got some tassels in there now. Um, and again, from that. That before, after, before, after. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thus ends this lesson in Photoshop.